What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is about the Microsoft Surface Duo phone. That is Microsoft's dual display Android phone that was supposed to come out maybe like a month or two ago and then it got delayed we heard until like October and then we heard recently that it's going to come out in July. Well, we've got some more information from you. It comes from Zach Bowden from Windows Central and he tweeted out, update on the Surface Duo schedule. Microsoft has pushed back internal plans to launch the device later this month. Sounds like it'll still happen sometime this summer, just later than originally planned. So summer is August and then it ends in late September. So you have another two months before this phone will probably come out. Remember, it's supposed to have a Snapdragon 855 which is not the newest processor, but it should still compete and be really, really fast. And I think only like six gigabytes of RAM as well. If you are a fan of OnePlus, they are coming out with their own completely wireless earbuds. Now this is official information because OnePlus has tweeted out saying, now you know the name. See our first truly wireless earphones on July 21st, OnePlus buds and they could potentially look something like this which they have a really really long stem at least compared to other earbuds out in the market today they look similar to what the apple airpods maybe they'll be great for when you talk on the phone maybe they'll have amazing sound so i have high hopes for them though based off of oneplus's other products next up if you're interested in the google pixel 4a google actually leaked it on their canadian website and this is going to be what it looks like this is a high quality render of the phone on the back of the phone, you see the camera module in the top left, along with the fingerprint sensor smack dab in the middle towards the top, uh, the colored looking you know, kind of bluish button, volume rocker below that, and then on the front of the phone on the top left, there's no notch or anything, you just have a little camera cutout in the top left, which potentially might be the best place to put it to get out of the way of you know it, it catching your eye. But yeah, this is gonna be the Pixel 4a. And it looks like if you see the date on there, it's usually when they go into uh, launch their phones. May 12th looks like the original date. Obviously that time has passed. So we're probably looking over the next few weeks before this phone probably actually launches. And the last story of the day, all about the Galaxy Note 20, Note 20 Ultra. These are the camera modules uh, taken apart, compared against each other on here you can see both have three cameras and different kinds of sensors on there um, ultimately the note 20 ultra is the bigger one and it should obviously have the better camera overall versus uh, the galaxy note 20. those cameras on the note 20 ultra are due to be 108 megapixel main camera 12 megapixel ultra wide 13 megapixel periscope lens and it should be able to have a 50x zoom thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe new videos every single single day my question out to you guys is 50x zoom good enough for the galaxy note 20 ultra or do you wish it was more less let me know in the comments down below i think 50x is the perfect medium of being pretty far out but not make it look like a complete oil painting let me know what you guys think thanks for watching see you down the road peace